Want to be smarter? Want to be fitter? Want to be wealthier? Want to be better? This is Infinite Transcendence, where life mastery meets humor and sarcasm with a blunt approach. This is the place where we talk about mastering your life without the usual feel-good aspect. This is the podcast designed for people who want useful tips and information while being entertained. So sit back and enjoy the program. Hello, hello, hello again, and welcome to Infinite Transcendence. This is part three, taken to the next level. This is the, these are going to take up more space, but these are going to be some very powerful tools you can look in. So you might, for this area, if you want to get these tools, you're probably going to need a little more space. You might have to have like a separate room for this, but it's a room. It's not a gym. It's not a huge room, but it will probably take another room. Now, that's what I have currently. I have an extra room that I use for working out, and it's, a room, it's just a room in a basement, but it's just one small area where I put these tools. And... Still very small, very effective, very light, but it's not something you're probably putting in your bedroom unless you have a very huge bedroom and you want to have these heavy tools in there. So just keep that in mind. But one thing I definitely recommend if you're trying to get to the extreme uh, level of fitness, if you're trying to push it to that level, is getting a workout vest. You'll see these. You've probably seen them before, but they're online. They have MIR. There's a few brands of them. I got one a, quite a while ago. They go up now to about 140 pounds. Now, it depends on how intense you are. You know, you might be a, a woman, for instance. You might just want to have a lighter vest. For maybe, you, maybe you're a woman who does a lot of cardio and you just want to add a little bit of weight for your cardio. You probably just want to go 10, 15 pounds. That's going to be plenty. And if you're into really heavy stuff, you might want to go to 80, 90, 100 or so pounds. Now, when I got mine a quite, a, it was quite a while ago, it was only up to 80 pounds at the time. But I used dumbbells along with it to give me extra weight. But they now go up to 140. See, for me, I, I wouldn't bother buying a new one. I think my Mine's cost 300 bucks at the time, and then the one 40 pound ones cost another 300 bucks or 400 bucks, whatever they cost. But I just take dumbbells and work out the dumbbells. But just get the just get the vest if you want it. It's great. You can add it resistance to any exercise. You can also use it for things like brushing your teeth. Put on a hundred pound vest if you're into severe. If you're extremely into fitness, take a hundred pound vest. You can brush your teeth. You can cook your food. You can simply walk up and down the stairs, push ups, set ups. Everything you do is going to be magnified and intensified because you're basically walking around as a heavier person. Once you take it off, you're going to feel a lot a lot stronger and quicker. Now, I would recommend you start and um, work your way up to that weight. And for most people, it's just to work your way up little by little till you get comfortable. And you're going to have to put away it works. You get a vest. They come with little cylinder blocks. Like little, mine came with blocks. Now, some of them come with sandbags. And you just put them in each slot. And you increase the weight. Like these are two, three pound increments. And you increase the weight until you get your desired weight. So you can buy a 140 pound vest and use it up to 75 pounds. And maybe you increase it little by little. It is going to be extremely heavy. I will tell you, if you're looking at pushing a, a, a 80, 90, 100, 140 pounds, you're going to have to be really strong to put that vest on. Really, really strong. I'd probably say about 99.9% people aren't gonna be able to pick it up because i know when i had it you occasionally get some guys who always want to pick it up and look cool and stuff and none of them could ever pick it up except for a handful of people so 140 pounds with a vest is see it's not like bench pressing it is a lot of weight it is a whole lot of weight so you might want to try one out but you can always like i said gradually increase your strength up to that point but if you get the 100 pound 140 pound vest on the workout in it that's great. Like I have the 80 something pound, but I use dumbbells along with it. I carry up to 70. I did the 70, 80 pound dumbbells with the vest and I would do my workouts that way, but because they have 140 pounds, but now they do. So it's about the same. Only difference is like push ups. I guess push ups and pull ups probably have a hard time doing pull ups, 140 pound vest on or, or even 80, 90 pound vest on, but it's possible. I've done a few reps with mine. Uh, but you probably do two or three. It's gonna, you're going to definitely feel the workout a lot quicker. You know, if you do a lot of push-ups, putting this vest on, doing 10 push-ups is going to feel. If you can do 100 push-ups without it, 10 push-ups is going to really feel different with it on. So <laughs> I talked about the vest for quite a bit because it's an interesting tool. You got wrist and leg weights. These are kind of like the vest we said for your wrist. You have, you, put, you have something you can wrap around your legs. You have something you can wrap around your wrist. You can wrap some around your ankle. Around your, I guess no, around, I had around my around my knees, I believe it was. No, they're around yeah, they go around like your like around your leg, around your shins, I think is where they go. And these are a great way. These are like two the wrist and leg ones gonna be like two point five pounds or for around the bottom of your foot. And that's a lot for that area of the body. You don't wanna strain yourself and hurt your wrist trying to type with them. So don't use it for things like typing and stuff. That's ridiculous. Use them if you're trying to run or do certain or maybe not even running, but certain workouts. I wanna do a lot of heavy running with a lot of weight because you wanna pull your tendons. Also, you have the leg ones. Those go a bit higher. I don't know. They probably put 20, 30, 40 pounds around your legs. Those are other options you can use for that. Also, a punching bag. You can probably find a nice punching bag set up for about 100, 200 bucks, I believe. 
Um, and they're good for striking if you're into martial arts. You want to build your pain tolerance up on like your shins. They're good for striking, good for uh, working out in that regard. Uh, I recommend the normal punching bag. I had the one, the, the floor-based water model where you pour the water or sand in the bottom. And it's a stand-up model. I broke it by hitting it. It was a 300-pound bag, too, and it was gone. So, unfortunately, that didn't work. I probably recommend you get the traditional bag and just have a mount. I have one of those with a speed and coordination bag on the side. Definitely a good tool to use. Now, that punching bag is where you're going to really start taking up space. So, if you don't, if you take, if you took the punching bag out of everything I recommended, you can probably get your workout done in a lot less space. The punching bag is where you're going to start taking up a lot of space, or the, the weight bag, or punching bag, or a striking bag. Also, the floor. Use the floor. Use the wall. You can do in push-ups alongside the wall. There's a ton of workouts you can do just simply on the floor or with the mat. Or again, on a stability ball, but the floor is great. You can use the stairs. Run up and down the stairs with the vest. Run up and down the stairs ten times. Take the vest. Do it. Uh, do it with the wrists and leg weights. Lots of ways you can get a lot of effective workouts just on your set of stairs. These are all low-cost, low-space requirement items that you can get an extremely effective workout you can get a top-notch super effective workout on you do not have to have you do not need a fancy gym or all that stuff you can do it at home and your peace and for me i like my peace and quiet i get up early i get up at early in the morning four or five in the morning i can work out cook breakfast and i'm ready to go out to drive out go somewhere come back home either about leaving things or dropping things or i'm gonna you know do i have all that interference i can just get my workout done the way i want at home you know in my boxer shorts if i want <laughs> and since it's becoming summertime and i can just get it done there so it can be done definitely get into doing it and use these tools to increase your game if there's anything else you know definitely try it out but there's definitely ways to work out and save a lot of space so let me know what do you think do you do this already what are you using do you use a punching bag have you used a workout vest is there something that i forgot is there something that i should mention in the future definitely let me know um, like subscribe and as always transcend infinitely Want more? Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment the video and subscribe to the podcast. Want even more? Check out the written article version and subscribe to the Infinite Transcendence website at InfiniteTranscendence.com for new and interesting quality content. Join now and receive a special gift. Also like our Facebook at Infinite Transcendence and follow us on Twitter at Transcendent Updates. Keep watching and listening. See you next time and transcend infinitely.